serious question this. If you could play, if you had the chance to play one set of clubs, through the bag, putter, wedges, irons, hybrid, fairways, driver, you get the picture. You got one set, what would you choose to that play? I'd like to, on the course, through the bag. Yeah, if you wanted to try a set, what would it be? I think it's got to be PXG. They, them for me, I think. They, they've got this persona. Have you ever tried them? Have you ever tried? What have you tried in PXG? I've seen them, not not hit them. I mean, they but they for me, it's like they're the un, un, unobtainable. They're the ones unobtainable. 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 What not, if I they said? Are not what obtainable. if I said they're obtainable? What no, if I can? I, say, oh, I can make your dreams come true, Lou. <laughs> PXG through the bag. PXG through the bag, mate. Me and you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, PXC through the bag, Conway Golf Club. Let's have it. Make it happen. I'd love to see you make that happen. Right, Lou, I kept me promise, PXG, full bag, putter, wedges, irons. He has produced. Hybrid, fair fairways. Fair play. So massive thanks to PXG, first of all. I've got a set of lone clubs. Just to mention it in the irons, we have a combo set. So yeah. we've got tall iron in the shorter, and I think seven iron to four iron we've got in the players model. Yeah. We've got shafts in them that I think both of us are reasonably Suitable. comfortable with. Yeah, yeah. You've never tried any, any shots. PXG not, clubs not at hit all. A shot with a PXG club. You know my opinion, I've been a bit fond of them and I'm, I'm keen to get another opinion as well because sometimes I go a bit overboard on these things. But what I want to do, we're going to do a full test PXG through the bag. Not looking at specs, we're going to put with them, we're going to chip with the wedges, we're going to play iron shots, we'll try the lot. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a comprehensive test and sort of get the feel for what the brand you know has to offer i mean i've never used them before i think i'm really looking forward to it i'm a, I'm a big one um you know is there any brand that you would be drawn to on the shelf you know because pxg really draws me in you know whether it be tight list ping you know is there a brand that you go right i'm drawn to them i want to try them every time they bring out a new product you know pxg is that for me so i'm really looking forward to trying on the course today right let's move the camera we're going to hit, like I said, right through the bag and we're going to get some opinion. What I want to know in this uh, comment section below, are you brand loyal to anyone in particular? And if you are, stick it down below. Who do you support the most in terms of a brand? Second thing I want to say is do not go anywhere because I'm giving away, in conjunction with it, 15,000 subs, big prize giveaway. And it's going to be somewhere in the middle of this video. So don't miss anything. Oh, man. Jesus, Lou, that's big, that, mate. Isn't it? Nice. Yeah, it's big, but it's also exactly what you called in terms of the line as well. Who's happy with it? Wow. Wow. I've got no words mate, it's awesome. Get in the L. Good strike, mate. First it's reactions? Good strike. Uh, pulled down the left, I was hitting for a bit of a cut, but it's actually stayed there. 
The big thing for me, and I'm interested in your opinion more than mine, is I love the feel of these clubs. It's unreal in terms of the, I just love the feel. And it feels like you're getting, I know it sounds daft and everyone disagrees with this element, but this, this business about, it fires out there, do you know what I mean? I feel like you're getting help. Yeah. Right, so first time fairway wood for Louis. These are Gen 2 fairway woods. So this, don't forget, is the lower price point for PXG. Don't get me wrong, still expensive, but lots of shaft options, big on the custom fit. Right in the ballpark now. Oh, what a strike that is. Now I'd want to know what he thinks of, because that sounded superb. Sold. Sold. <laughs> Seriously though, Lou, what, what, because the sound on that from being yeah, stood I mean, behind you was superb. It's, it's difficult not to be overly positive when it's got no, no shape on it, it's bullet straight, it sits great behind the ball, but it's the sound, isn't it? Yeah. You know, yours was absolutely bullet Bulleted. straight and sounded great. And then I've just followed you down the fairway, but... So a good start with the fairway, would Yeah. yeah. Nope. Hey, this could be an expensive test for you, you know. They are nice, mate. <laughs> you can't buy clubs based on head colours, but you do know that, don't you? So Lou, what have you got in your hand? What club? I've got a nine iron. You've got a nine iron. This is, okay, let's, let's be real here. This is the first iron you've hit, isn't it? It is. Honestly, is it, I think? It is, yeah. yeah. It's probably a wedge. There's a little bit of wind up there. So I've clubbed up. I'm hitting the nine. So first of all, what? how do you think this, how do you think an iron looks? I like a PXC looks. iron. My one sort of preconception was that they were potentially going to have a little bit of a, a chunkier top line. That yeah completely not the case you know they've really managed to sort of sort of cut it off at the back there where it looks really sleek but you've still there's got a camber the in there there's a bit yeah, of a, a chamfer yeah. rather so it looks at the back you go oh well it's not going to be as sleek yeah. as it should and you put it down so what we've got just to point out in the set we've got tall we've got the tall model i think up to uh wedge yeah, 789 yeah, yeah. and then we've got the p which is the players uh which is a little bit more forgiving a bit more muscle in uh, in the longer irons from there on in let's see what you think anyway i just want real reaction as to what you know i'm a i'm a lover of these as you well know it's good control from the shot yeah so yeah did exactly how i want to flow sort of flight in the window that i want to see it at you know kind of keep it under the wind but i think more than anything it's the feel of them is you know it's just pure it's yeah. just pure it is you know i think you, the big thing about them is the sort of forgiveness but you're getting a real feel of a player's iron straight away uh, and it looks so pretty good, good start good start you've only hit a nine iron we've got to go a bit longer in the bag i think i'm gonna try a wedge uh this is their 50 degree wedge zero three one one wedges Result, very good result. Good result, I think. Feel uh, for me comparing to other wedges that I've played, it's probably got it's a little bit bulkier, if anything. Um, but again, for my level, it's where it's a bit like the irons that there is a slight bit of chunk of meat on them, and it just gives me a confidence. It might be a false confidence, I don't know, but again, good feel. Good result, that's it. Please, with that. Switched it. 
Next up for me, Lou, I'm going three wood off this tee. These are the Gen 2. I tried these uh, a few months ago. Again, massive fan. I've got to say that a lot, I think, but uh, look superb. Again, can't wait to see how they perform in reality out on the course. Good sound. Two tee shots, two fairways, that's good enough. Uh, I probably didn't get it perfect, but again, four wins, we're playing into the wind, and uh, yeah. I don't know, I keep saying the same thing, that's the only thing I'm worried about in this video. And I'm talking to Lewis off camera here, really, but I, we're still I, rolling. I, 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 I like it. <laughs> hey, Louis, what iron have you got? I've got four iron. So, yeah, don't forget, he's only a short iron so far, four iron. So the idea of the video is I want Louis to try right throughout the bag. Well, we're going to try right throughout the bag, and then we're going to give him an assessment. Tea, so yeah. You got a bit more bulk in this one. Top line doesn't go massive though. Oh, well, lovely controlled shot. Probably popped up a bit higher than you wanted, Lou. Well, for four iron, the, the quality of the, I mean, the quality of the shot, the quality of the striker was just how I wanted. But the flight was higher. Probably didn't lose any distance, but it's the feel. Yeah. I can't get over how good they feel. That's that's for me is the big one. So did you notice any great difference between a nine iron and a four iron and go from again from players to tour the two models? Well this one is a lot more like I've got P790 tailor made. This is the more the look of the P790s. Yeah. I did actually like the look of the tour. The T was a little bit sleeker in the short iron. Yeah, yeah. That's one I one thing I wish in my clubs where there was a change in profile. So I like the fact that we've got a combo set. Um but I think the feel overall is better. It's a lot more solid. Feels a lot more like a blade feels to me. Yeah. Um, more like a traditional forge, isn't it? Yeah. Because these are, these are foam injected again, aren't they? Or yeah, resin yeah. injected, and whatever that's it is. One thing that I didn't think having play, you know, having you know, sort of foam injected hollow clubs in the bag, the feel was is sort of the one thing that I go, well, performance over feel. But I think this is a combination of the two, which you know, um, it is a real big positive. It's hard not to be positive about them, isn't it? Mm. Great strike. Wow. That, I did swear for a little bit, but I hope it back. <laughs> that windy might have carried away. Oh, beautiful strike that is. What a strike. Super shot, Lou. Where'd it come out of? The middle? Right out of the middle. Middle, yeah? Yeah. Very good. It feels great. Yes, it is competition time and it's an opportunity for me to say a massive thank you to everybody that subscribed. It's hitting this milestone of 15,000 subscribers and for that, I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. Some of you have been there right from the very beginning supporting me for quite some time. It means a great deal. The channel continues to grow. Hopefully the content continues to get that little bit better each time we put a video out. Right, now then, to celebrate that, uh, that milestone, Glencore Golf Holidays have very kindly donated a prize so we can run a, a competition which is well worth winning, let me tell you. It's in association with Now Hotels. It's in Albufeira uh, at Sao Rafael Hotel. I think it's just outside of Albufeira. Uh, and the prize is this. It's three nights at the hotel, bed and breakfast, two rounds of golf. And you've got the choice either at Morgado, Salgados or Alamos Golf Course and transfers are also included. The only thing you'll need to do is arrange your flights to get over to Portugal. So great prize, well worth winning. Thank you to Glencore Golf, who've also been long-term supporters of the channel. What do you need to do to win? Well, it's simple. First of all, you need to be a subscriber to the YouTube channel. That's obviously very important, but all you've got to do is stick a comment down below about this video, about the prize, about the PXG video, whatever you want to do, but you've got to be in this comment section down below and I'll make a draw two weeks from now and we will get 
one lucky winner. And like I said, thank you to Glencore, thank you to Now Hotels, thank you to every one of you that supports this channel. But for now, it's back over to Conway Golf Club and let's see the, uh, the verdict from the average golf pro and for myself on these PXG clubs. Pick that up. Yeah, yeah. The other good thing is, and I'm um, playing a seed golf ball today, I'm just going to give that a brief mention because at the moment that's performing really well. Uh, just got out that a little bit out the toe as well, just looking at it, but it's going the exact distance. That ball has just checked and stopped on its spot. Right, Lou's going to take hybrid. This is uh, what is it, Lou? 19? 19 degrees, so three hybrid, yeah. 19 degree hybrid. See what this picks up like. Beautiful pickup. Catch that in the backdrop again. Very similar to my shot, Lou. Just again, just leaked it down that right hand side a bit. Pushed, yeah, it's just it's the same, just strike a little bit off the toe. But yeah, but yeah not much deviation in flight. Just the interesting thing for me is the sound is similar through driver, fairway, and hybrid, isn't it? Which is quite rare, isn't it? Yeah. You know, especially with, I think that's why we like the sound with the driver, isn't it? Because mm. it's like, it's a bit more of a thud. Yeah, um, solid, well, it's unusual that they sound. all, like you said, it's unusual for one brand to produce the same sound out of each of those different clubs, isn't it really? Yeah. Well, it's a very sound and feel, I would say, is very much similar. Yeah, yeah, and we like it, don't we? You love them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm worried happy. for you. I'm happy. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Look at that. That is pure. Great shot, right. mate. That's close. That flew nice and high for you as well. That Beautiful five ball iron. flight. Oh, mate, I can't. I, there's no use asking me anymore because I'm. You're done. You sold out. I've aren't said you? too much. I don't know whether <clears> people think I'm putting it on. You know, in terms of I've said too many nice things about PXG. So Just that's why I'm more in, to the checkout, mate. Don't you? I'm more interested in your opinion because, like I said, I've, I've I've been too nice for too long. But I find it really hard to be critical of. Pure. Oh, shot for shot there, Lou. I hadn't seen mine until we got up here, but I've just got a uh, glimpse of my ball. It's hard to bet against them, isn't it? Give us some negativity. Come on, because everyone they will think we're saying nice things. They, 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 the, one, the one thing I will say is... Yeah? They don't make a ball. They don't make a ball. <laughs> That's the only negative we can find, isn't it? Oh, bloody hell, Lou. That is an absolute... What a ball. He's drawing it off that bunker down the right. Well, it's carried the bunker and now bounding down the fairway. Sold to me. Sold. I haven't hit a bad shot with it. Right, we're about, I don't know, what, what, how many holes have we played? Oh, six. Played six holes, variety of shots. You get, we're giving you some immediate feedback as we go along, but I think that I'm almost, I mean, I could give you a summary right now because I've hit them quite a fair few times on, on other videos, but the interesting thing for me is the first time I got really interested when there was a chance to play the whole bag. Because often with a fit you'll hit a 7 iron. Yeah, driver, you'll you'll hit different sort of driver specs and stuff. But, but you very rarely get the chance, do you? It's a pity really that um, you don't get offered the opportunity of trying the whole bag, isn't it, when you're about to buy a set? It would be a great luxury to have, really. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but for me... Go on, sorry. Do you not think it's on course? That's yeah. The, that's the benefit we've had. Yeah. Is on course. We've had you know different types of shots on the same day when you're swinging right. Yeah, hundred um, percent. And uh, we, you know, sort of a good cross section of the clubs to review. It's reality. To, well, well, we're trying to do more of these videos going forward. This is something I really want to focus on because I genuinely believe that I love recording data and I love seeing what clubs do in terms of uh, performance in a in a uh, controlled environment. You need that data, but this is what Louis just said. Real time is the first time I took these clubs out on the course and. Part of me thought that I've tried them in driving ranges, I've tried them with, um, like I said, that controlled environment. I wondered if they would, I'd be as impressed in reality. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, mean, I mean, for me, I, the big thing is there's a lot of hype around. I'm a big sort of, they've, they've, they've sucked me in with sort of everything around them, the sort of mystique of the brand. They're, they are a bit, uh, quite a bit more expensive than everything else. And would they live up to that? Yeah. Um, you know, when I, I've got no reason to say, they're great when they're not great because they're not our clubs. They're going yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're just just sort of seeing how they perform. 
And how do they perform? What's your if if you could summarise briefly, what would how would you summarise the whole bag really? I think the putter's the only one we haven't had a fair crack of the whip of, I would say. No, we've been hitting a lot of shots, and we I think we've we've, we've focused on you know different types of shots. Yeah. Um, different in you know sort of different wind directions. So different type. Irons. So how would you how would you summarise them? I like the fact that we've got the combo set. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's something I'm I'm a big believer on. Um, you know, people committing to you know a, a bigger four iron, yeah. five iron than a pitching wedge. You know, you know I, I think people's egos sometimes got in the way. Yeah, of, yeah. I like a blade. I'm going to play a blade. Well, you know, there's a lot of real good players. You know, even lads on the tour. You generally won't see them play the same club through the, the pitching wedge jumps the up iron. to a three, four iron. Yeah. You know, even your your real good ball strikers like yeah, McElroy, yeah. Dustin Johnson, you know, they, they have a chunkier you know, two, three iron. Um so we've got the sort of combo set. But they're not by any means bulky these, are they? I mean when you go into the when you go into the players' side, it's still not. you know, I mean, it's a got a little bit more mass about it. I love that mass as well in this, in the sense that they're not bulky, but they just, for me anyway, give me a little bit more confidence that um, there is that visual um, thought process. There might be a bit of assistance in that club edge. Yeah, know? yeah, and it's the first real club I think where I've tried where you've got the forgiveness in the performance. Yeah. And in the shorter irons, you've got that real sleek top line. Yeah. Uh, and look that you know we all would like to play if we could well I, I said I think I said it in my initial review when I did a seven iron when I first tried them uh, part of last year that they've the ultimate combination for me would be a sort of um, forgiveness that you would find in a game improvement iron in a small version in terms of profile with the feel of a forge club and I swear to God I think it's the first time that I've really found it in in, in this club there's I'll say again on on this video. I think the Callaway um, Apex have done a similar sort of job. I think yeah. they've done a similar thing where they've managed to combine all things together, um, and it is very hard for me. I can't criticise it, so I ain't gone it. No, no. I, I think if it was any weak points, we we'd have found them. Well, the here. price is the thing, isn't it? Everybody debates the price, but again, I always say I'm not getting involved in that because I wouldn't tell you how to spend you. If you want to buy that driver, no. go and buy it. No, and I think. The long and short is the the one big thing for me is would I part with my money? Yeah. Now I think that's the you yeah. know it's all very well and good saying oh, we've got these to test. Yeah, yeah. Would you would you go in there? Would you go right? I'm gonna get a fit in. It's yeah. gonna do it, and then I'm gonna put it in the bag. But I'm gonna part with my hard earned. Yeah. And I think I probably would now. Yeah. Having tried them, certainly the woods and the irons, um, I've been really impressed with. Even the wedges. If I'm um, being honest, mate, I could probably sell you this set now, and you'd, you'd buy them. As long so as don't it, be, don't as be long, pretending. As long as, as long as that comes with the back and the head covers me, <laughs> you do like. I'm, that I am absolutely sold. For some reason, it's just they've really got me hooked. I mean, yeah. we're, we're we're playing some good shots. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tough conditions. It's blowing. We're down here. The reason why I'm in this little huddle position is it's quite blinking windy. It's a gorgeous day, but as with any links course, you want a bit of wind, and it's uh, it's a bit breezy, isn't it? So we yeah. played some decent golf. The summary is over. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Um, it's great having Lewis on, a great having a second opinion, that was key for me because uh, I'm a bit already sold on these things. So it's great to have Lewis's opinion as well. Thanks as ever for watching, your comments down below. Again, I always like to think, what do you think of PXG? What's your, what's your opinion of them now? It's evolving a little bit, the price drop. Um, has that changed your opinion on them? Um, yeah, hit the like button and don't forget that competition that we had. Uh, good luck to anyone that's entered, nice little prizes to be had. Massive thank you for everybody who subscribed over the uh, past couple of years. It's took me to get to 15,000. It takes me a while, but we got there in the end. And uh, slow burner. Uh, a bit like my golf game. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Signing off, Luke? That was all right. Yeah, but you're saying bye. No. No? No. Well, Say no, something. You, no, you're going to cut that, mate. It'd be <laughs> fine. How are, you get, how, how, how are you getting on with that editing? Oh, all right, yeah. smashed it, mate. Yeah. If you can get that done by uh, complete it. If you can, if you can get that done by. I've got a five pm deadline on that, mate. What a quarter to eleven. <laughs> and really, I mean, hang on. Blend mode. I'm sorry, mate. We're recording here. Camera's rolling. The only thing I can read it on these course vlogs, anyway. I can't put that in though because we've not been there yet. Will you stop talking. I'm filming. This is part of the scene. 
cabo y agradece. We're still editing. That was very casual. We're still editing. We're still editing. We've got a 5 pm deadline. Always 5 pm, isn't it? Always 5 pm. You're still editing. Still going, mate. 5 pm deadline. <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've got red now. These lights don't do me any favours, do they? How many pounds did the camera put on? Too many, mate. Seriously, it does. <laughs> you still editing? Still having a crap, mate, yeah. 5 pm deadline. Oh my god, why would I have to do I get more out of the outtakes for you. That's the best bit. Right, <laughs> you still editing? Yeah, still going, mate. 5 pm deadline. <laughs> it's always 5 pm. It's always. <laughs> <laughs> Can oh, you come on. I thought it was It's. I'm still locked up. I've got the mallet. I think we should give them all a go. I think we'll find something that I can actually hold. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> don't think they come with any guarantees. <laughs> <laughs>